Hey guys, welcome back to my workshop and the workshop extension project, which this will more likely be the last part. Um, so in this part, we're going to be finishing this table. Probably not going to complete it because it's something that'll 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 do continuously, you know, to make it better. But we're going to plane this down with a number seven plane. Try and get it as flat as that you know I can lay the hand plane at least to get all the paint off and just only take it down maybe a mull or two um, but it, it is pretty flat as it is uh, I've already took all the screws out because I, I can't play them with the screws in um, I don't know if I'm going to put them back in or no I might uh, well, I said that in the last part um, just drill holes in the uh, drive dills through them um, and that will at least hold it but I'm not really sure if it will you know hold um, or if it, may, if it will come apart in time uh, I just simply don't know and um, obviously I used a lot of glue as you've seen so uh, but time will tell so I, I'm going to plane it off and then I'm going to get it square, I'll use a big framing square and I'll we'll cut it so that it will get a perfect, you know, uh, 45, 90, 90 degree angle. Uh, bye, so let's get to it guys. <laughs> Flat. flat enough for me, no doubt it's not perfect, you know, um, but it's flat enough for me, man. I gouged that a couple of wee bits, uh, just like gouged a bit too deep in that, but, but I can't really feel any hot. Cut a wee bits here and there, but, um, but I'm going to sand it next, look. Uh, wish I had an orbital sander because um, that would make quick work I've only got one of the wee like, random uh, sanders like. but uh, aye so I'm going to sand it next uh, once I've sanded it like that uh, I'll, I probably should cut it first like, before I sand it aye um, aye so We'll get it square, lay some lines down, get it square with the ruler, uh, and then I'll cut it with a circular saw. So I did it's cut. Um, I got them. Go on me, uh, perfect 90 degrees. Could not have got any better if I tried. And it's soon with this side. We'll get a wee sand in. And then I'm going to cut wee thin edge bits just to put on this and then we'll glue it up. We'll, leave, we'll clamp it, leave it a wee bit, fire the screws back in. Uh, and then probably start working on the base at that point, so... Uh. So I gave it a good sanding. Uh, definitely will need uh, more sanding like that. Um, just take, take it down to a finer uh, grit. But for the time being, I need to make these bits next, my trim bits. But uh, for the time being, I'm just going to 
I'm going to put wood filler in all the wee gaps and it's not the same colour but it'll cover the holes up like that. I put the screws back in but uh, I counter sunk them so that they're like deep in the wood. Um, so that should help with any wood movement. We'll see. But for the time being, we'll just put some wood filler in and then make the So I was filling up the wee holes um, and on this join here there was a kind of you know bigger gap because that board was twisted that way and it I, obviously when I clamped it it just it just did not close right there. One the other was and then there was a sort of one about the same size on this one. Um, when I thought I'll fill them in, but then I thought, well, I'm not trying to hide the fact that it's all different boards joined together so you could uh, you know accentuate that and use that to my advantage so i thought well i could uh, put the filler down each because each of them had just the, the smallest of wee gap so by putting it uh, down each of the joints once they sand it like that there, there will be just this kind of thin wee line on each of them and these will sort of look like knots uh, I think it'll look cool and then once it's oiled and waxed uh, I think it'll look amazing so only time will tell but I'm going to get to measuring and cutting side bits for these The green in that cemented. Uh, I'm to use this bit as my trim. That's a nice bit, nice bit of green right there. I think that's walnut. Nice. And my new bandsaw, which that was base. That was like the first cut there. Uh, I've done a couple of wee experiments and cuts fairly, but. I've never cut my first hang me and there was metal hang me's and that and all that. Right, that last wee bit, I heard it getting popped out, getting thrown out, but it's not seemed to damage the blade, so sweet. <laughs> but man, thought I'd go to my and all that, I had to drill them out a little bit. Man, that is some bandsaw, some beast. I definitely need a better way of um, dust collection. I'm just using my wee uh, Henry Hoover now, which you know it, it does, but it's it's still dust here. It's just it's not got enough sitting power, so I need to do something about that. But right. sweet. Now you're running through the thickness of it. So I got these down to the thickness I want. Just want them pretty thin. I only need uh, two bits, I think. Uh, but I'll, I'll play and do the three. That one's really nice, man. Uh, just gonna use this one for the long bits, and then I'm gonna use this for the short bits. So I've got, I've got three bits, all relatively the same size. You don't need to make that the same size. So I never took this one down 
really thin because I'm probably only going to need these two. Um, eh, sorry, these two here. Took this one thin for something else. So it's just these two here. I'm going to need um, these two here. Not with that nice green on it. But obviously, I'll use uh, this side of it. And I'll keep these. Keep that bit there for an R project, but it's, uh, it's really nice. Look, I kept it a bit of thickness, can make a couple of nice boxes or something like that. Look, yeah, so I but put this aside the new, uh, and that, that's dry now. So I'm going to start sanding again. We'll get this all sanded right out here, look, and we'll see what it looks like. On to that again. <laughs> so there we go. Finished uh, sanding all the filler off, and then I just hand sanded it with 400 grit uh, and then a thousand grit, and it's super smooth now. No, it ain't perfect, it ain't, but. I like it and I'll do exactly what I need it to do um, and it's as flat as I'm going to get it with hand tools like that but it's, it's pretty flat, you know um, it's pretty flat and then I've got two, two 90 degree corners so I'm happy with it man um, so I'm just going to I'm going to just put some oil on it the new and then I'm going to put my vice on and then we'll work on the trim. I need, I need to cut the trim down, resize it just to fit all this bit. And then I was thinking that I'll put trim on this bit as well. Um, I may put trim on it, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I could cut really, really thin, really, really thin bits uh, for, for that inch, for that inch uh, like boards that I've got. That's how thick they are here. Um, I could easy cut, you know, thin, thin veneer after this, and that's something I've been wanting to do with a bandsaw. So I, uh, I'm going to put a wee bit of oil on it, uh, and then I'll whack my vice on, and then we'll get this trim on. So, boiled linseed oil I've got. Um, so I, obviously I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, put many, many layers at it. Uh, so but I'm just going to put a wee layer at it now. Basically, I'll put, you know, probably about half of this bottle will manage to go in there. Uh, Bored linseed oil is good uh, for preserving uh, wood. You know, it goes right into the fibres of the wood. Uh, it, it does expand, pretty sure that it, it does expand it a wee bit like that. So, but it brings, the more layers that you, that you put on, uh, the more like shiny it becomes, you know, the sheen off it when it's polished. So I've got this, and I've got, um, and I've got uh, a finishing wax for when I'm done, and then it'll be super shiny. <laughs> Obviously, it's not my intention to get it shiny, you know, just to protect it. So uh, I ain't going to pour it on. Just got to pour a wee bit of my horn and wipe it in here. Like, so, that does look minted already. Um, well impressed with that. Just going to leave it for 10 minutes and then I'll get a wee buff. I'll, I'll just wipe the excess oil off. But I'll put a good wee, good wee bit of oil in that there and it's you know, soaking right in it already. So just leave that wee bit on it the new and then I'm going to start working on the vase.
cut these two bits out as uh, spacers basically because um, I thought it'd probably be stupid having this bit on here and then the trim ending here so I've basically made spacers that will go in like that I'll show you so um, I'm going to put that in there Planed, um, eh, planed. They'll be glued. They bits there will be glued to the table, which I'll use the vise to glue them. And then obviously my my trim. Eh, I'll make. Eh. Right, so, and then my trim will slide in perfectly. So the vice itself will be well, the, the side will be obviously the soft box and then this hard bit of pine that will we'll clamp things to. Um and I'm gonna I'll put like uh, I'll put a bit of felt but just a nice wee bit of felt there. Um, on, I don't really need to on this bit, because like, it's soft wood, but on this bit I'll put a wee bit of felt for when I'm clamping soft stuff, you know, like, uh, but I uh, so, go that bit there, and we'll go this bit for at the back, right behind here, like I showed you before, and that will go in there nicely, um, looks like I need to trim that a wee bit as well, alright, like this needs a wee bit of trim in and we'll be sorted so I'm going to assemble this and I'll get back I've got the back bit on that's glued that's glued and I threw a couple of screws in and it's going to do the same with this just some glue and I'll use the vise itself since the back bit's in now I'll use the pressure of the vise to to hold this in place See, I ain't looking for perfection, especially when I use stuff, you know, when I recycle stuff. If I buy new, if I buy new products, new stuff, new materials, then I, I always, you know, do my best to, you know, get it looking good, but... When you're using recycled stuff, you're just doing it to make it functional, you know? But you just want it to be functional. I saw you all look at it anyway. Right. So whilst we're waiting for that to dry, just going to trim my pieces for the side, uh, cut them down to the right size look, whilst we're waiting for us to dry. Look.
So we've got them on and definitely makes a big difference. Um, I put them on and I've just finished them with uh, a couple of wee heedless nails. Just use them to hold them in. Um, there is a couple of wee gaps here and there, but that's cool. Uh, I can fill them with a wee bit of glue. And I say I'm going to use the router and I'll put a wee round over right around it. So I'm just going to cut the ones for the front and the back here. Oh, I'll cut with the lighter with the... I think it's a uh, yellow oak or something like that, not sure, look, but I'm going to cut them in out. So there we go, here's the tap finished. You know, I think it looks amazing, man. I think it looks amazing, considering it was wet or fun in a bin. You know, people pay thousands of pounds for tables like that. Yeah, I've still got, I'm still going to put another layer of oil on it, um, and then I'll put a layer of wax on it. Uh, well, actually, I'll leave the wax until I've actually done the corners here. Uh, but I'm there, I'll put another layer of oil on it and I don't know if I'm going to use the router to get these around over which I said before or just use my plane and put a wee chamfer along the edge like, I don't know the chamfer that might look better you know that, that might look better because it will stand out there but let's get this in So I'm not going to bother bringing the router out and routing it out like that. I'm just going to use my hand plane, just the number four, um, to put a 45 degree chamfer on the edge here like that. So I'll just hold it 45 degrees until I'm flush with the table and then I'll get it light sanded. There we go. Gave it a chamfer. It looks well better, man. There we go. It's super smooth, silky smooth. Um, the, no doubt I could get it a lot glossier, a lot shinier, a lot smoother. But it's not a dining room table, you know. It's a it's a workbench. It's, it's gonna get scuffed. It's gonna get dirty like that. So I've already spent three days on it. Um, so no point spending any money on it. I'm happy with the results. It's solid. Um, and no doubt it'll get a lot more sturdy when I put the shelf in that in, uh, secure it at the bottom, join it at the bottom with the shelf, drawers. And it'll obviously get a lot more sturdy, but I'm, I'm on a wee bit even grun here, uneven. Um, so I'll move it actually onto the same bit. So it's definitely, it's going to say practical, but maybe it's a bit overkill, <laughs> you know, for a a woodworking bench but you know it's it worked for me i'm happy with it it'll do you know it looks minted well early moon with it well early moon with it and it's not super flat you know there, there, there probably is you know cut a wee humps and bits and bobs here and there but it's flat enough as you can see um and then it'll work square here as well. Where's my hang room? We'll check. My square here. So I can always use this as a reference. Um, I guess this one's sticking out a wee bit. 
so it's sort of taking it off, but I know that the table right there is square. Check it aside. What first scuff? <laughs> Yeah, we're good. But, aye. I'm happy with it, you know. I've not had a big bench like this before, so it's so much easier to be building, doing stuff when you get a big bench like this, man. Like, um, aye. But aye, the, the grain, it's just, it's, uh, it's gorgeous, you know, it is. It's well minted. Just this wee trim bit here as well, it's well minted look hey guys hope you enjoyed watching that there so basically we're coming to the end of the series like that so i want to thank you all for watching my videos uh, everybody who continuously watches my videos like that i appreciate he's watching because you the audience make the channel so i appreciate that it motivates and encourages me to continue the whole youtube thing um so maybe I'll try and get a couple more, you know, videos out of, you know, the extension project. Um, but more than likely, the next part will probably be the last one. So I'm going to, in the next part, I'm, I'm going to go through and start painting in there. Because I need to, I need to get it painted before I can put up any of my tools. Um, but the next part will essentially be uh, organising, bringing all my tools back out um, and organising them, getting in the right place um, and then wiring. I'll, I don't want the wires just all hanging about willy-nilly so I'll organise them in such a way where they're hidden. You, you know, maybe make a wee, you know, uh, just get them run along a certain bit and have them enclosed in a wee box. Um, and then the lighting for in here, I've got LEDs, the same as through there, so I've got a, a LED for each rafter and we'll get them up and we'll get the wires hidden in that and that will ultimately be it guys, you know. But once I've got the workshop up and running like that, we'll start getting into the projects again, you know, I've got loads of ideas uh, about what I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to, yeah, uh, I want to make a you know a marble machine, uh, you know we we kind of contraption that processes marbles and has them all come and do runners and hitting and make noises and all that. So that's gonna be something really cool to build. And my Wayne's will they'll love that. Uh, I definitely that's something that I'm gonna be building. Uh, I want to build the uh, guitars and uh, definitely go try and build the guitar. Uh, maybe a ukulele. That's one of the reasons I got the bandsaw. Uh, which that is a great addition to my workshop, you know, the things that I'll be able to, to do with a bandsaw like that. So I uh, definitely am excited for future projects with a bandsaw like that. So hi guys. So thank you all for watching again, alright? And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to build some guys. Take it easy.